Good Wednesday evening, everyone. It's 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here. This is the video called Weather for Weather Geeks. We're going to geek out to some meteorology this evening right off the bat and compare this December to December of 2010, which was a memorable one around here. And I'm actually going to put, probably put up a blog post on my blog this evening, ericwfmj com, which will uh, get a little bit more into the details, into the weeds, if you will, as to this December and what we expect going forward and how it compares to how things unfolded back in 2010. It was on today's date in 2010 that uh, we had yet another snowy day, one of many snowy days that December. 5.9 inches of snow at the airport on December 7th, 2010, on our way to 53 inches of snow that December. Easily, easily the snowiest December on record. Second place is like 30 inches. So we had almost double the amount of snow in December of 2010 as the next closest December. All right, so let's go out over the Atlantic and take a look at the jet stream. What we have going on here is a big time block or a ridge of high pressure in the jet stream. You can see the jet stream going like this way up here. When you see this, it's a signal for um, cold and stormy weather a lot of times in the Eastern US, not all the time but oftentimes. Uh, this is uh, oftentimes referred to as the uh, North Atlantic Oscillation, or NAO. When it's in its negative phase, you sometimes see or hear meteorologists talk about a negative NAO. That means there's a big blocking ridge near or over Greenland. All right, so that's one thing that should be favoring a lot of cold and some snow in the east, right? Well, we haven't seen that yet this December, and a couple of reasons for that when we look at the jet stream across North America. We've had a persistent trough or dip in the jet stream along the west coast, which has been kind of deflecting a lot of the cold air out west. They've had a cold and stormy period in Portland and Seattle and places like that. We've also had a fairly persistent ridge over the Gulf of Mexico. Sometimes this ridge is centered more over the Bahamas, but now it's centered over here. Either way, when you have a ridge that refuses to budge down here, that's gonna keep deflecting. A lot of the cold and stormy weather to the north and west and give some protection to a lot of areas east of the Mississippi. This has been the pattern over the last couple of weeks. And even with that strong blocking, the strongest blocking since December of 2010 occurring in the northern Atlantic, we just, we haven't seen the cold and snow just yet in the east. Where is it cold? Across the upper Midwest. 14 degrees in Minneapolis as of 7.09 Eastern time this evening. It's below zero north of there, up across the US Canadian border. Chile by Phoenix standards, 63. Seattle's only 44. So that's where all the cold air is for the time being. But we've been talking about the dam breaking. And confidence is increasing that this is going to occur during the last third of the month. Now, will it lead to extreme cold around here? I'm becoming pretty skeptical of that. I don't think this is going to be a pattern that produces any sort of extremes. What it will probably produce, uh, certainly more typical December cold than we've seen so far. Now, it's not been a very nice stretch over the last few days. We've had clouds and clouds. We're going to continue to have clouds for a lot of the next week, but it hasn't been particularly cold. Um, but here in this, the 8 to 14 day outlook uh, put out today by the Climate Prediction Center, now this runs out through December 21st. The cold is still strongest out here, but you can see it starts bleeding east. And I think this will uh, become more and more the case as we go past about the 18th, 19th, 20th of the month. All right, back here in the short term, Gloom City. Um, you know, I drove to work today and it looked like it was sunset and this was at 1.30 in the afternoon. I mean, it is just dark and gloomy and low ceilings. And I don't think the fog tonight will be as widespread and as thick as last night. But there can be some patches here and there, especially this evening. We're gonna have some subtle drying of the air mass. And I mean subtle, but enough that I don't think fog is gonna be a big problem for most of us uh, tonight. That may be a little bit of a different story off to our west, closer to I-77 heading over towards the Cleveland and Mansfield areas. But around here, I don't think fog will be a big issue for most of us overnight tonight. Again, watch for some patches, especially this evening. Sea of clouds for our Thursday, but will be dry. The sky might actually partially clear for some time Thursday evening. This will be after sunset, so we won't get to enjoy it. But some partial clearing for a time Thursday evening into the overnight before clouds try to thicken up on Friday. We might start the day with a little sunshine on Friday, but clouds will probably thicken uh, again towards the afternoon. This next system, is a fairly weak one, but I do think it will spread spread rain in here towards the end of the day Friday into Friday night. And there is a window here where there might be some mixed precipitation. No big deal, no impacts really. But you might see some snowflakes here and there mixed in with raindrops for a time Friday evening. Everything should just stay wet. 
By Saturday morning, most of the precipitation is gone, and we're just left with a sea of clouds. Once again, as Saturday gets underway, we'll get a break from the wet weather for a lot of Saturday before rain returns. By Saturday night into Sunday, it looks gloomy and damp again. Sunday, Sunday night, and into Monday as well. In case you missed it last evening, I talked about uh, my update to the annual winter forecast coming your way right here on my social media, including Weather for Weather Geeks. Uh, next Thursday, the 15th, which will be the last Weather for Weather Geeks video until after Christmas because I've got some time off starting next Friday. Um, but next Thursday, we'll do an update to the seasonal forecast. We put this out initially on November 17th. A month later, we're going to check in on things, make any adjustments we need to, and this will be kind of the final version, if you will, of the uh, of the winter forecast. We always typically do an update about a month after the first issuance, so we'll take a look at uh, the trends, see how things are going, and make any adjustments at, as needed. So it won't be as long and detailed uh, as the the initial video, but we'll uh, you know we'll expand a little bit on the current pattern and what is likely to happen for the rest of December, heading into January and February. Again, that's next Thursday. I'll see you then. In the meantime, we'll do weather for weather geeks this Thursday once again, same time, same place on Thursday, the eighth day of December. <laughs>